Hey everyone, I have a quick word to share today and today's word is supernatural surprise. Supernatural surprise and this word isn't for everybody so please take it to the Lord for confirmation and always test the spirit behind every prophetic word including mine. But if this message is for you, you have a supernatural surprise on the way. For some of you, this is a right now word and you're going to see this manifesting in the next 24 to 48 hours. I'm hearing in my spirit. So just get ready because the Lord has been looking forward to giving you this gift in this season. And that's the first scripture reference today. It says in Matthew 7, 11. So if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father give good gifts to those who ask him? So for many of you, you've been obedient. You know, maybe you've been going through a rough time lately and you felt alone. You felt like your prayers were not being heard. And what the Holy Spirit is saying today is that he heard your prayers, that Jesus has been not only hearing your prayers, but interceding for you in prayer. And these supernatural surprises are on the way in this hour. So if if you know this word is for you, if this is resonating in your spirit, get in the comments and come into agreement with this word and write supernatural surprise, supernatural surprise. Come into agreement and just be ready, be expectant to receive in this hour. Many of you have gone through many seasons of pouring in to the people around you and maybe your cup had been empty because you had just been pouring, pouring, pouring. And what the Lord is saying today is that your cup is overflowing with blessings. He is pouring into you in this hour. He brought me to Psalm 23 this morning, which talks about, um, hold on, I'm going to pull it up. It talks about um, <clears throat> that the Lord is your shepherd. Hold on, let me pull up a better version. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. Many of you have been praying for renewed strength in this season. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. For you are close behind me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. And this has been something the Lord has been speaking heavy in my spirit this season. That this is a season of elevation and vindication for you. It's a season of judgment and exposure for your enemies. For those people who had been uh, reaping bad seed. That they're, so, they're reaping what they've sown in this hour. And in the same way, you are reaping your harvest all of that good seed that you've sown over the years you are reaping that harvest in the season I'm hearing jubilee in my spirit and it goes on to say my cup or you honor me by anointing my head with oil my cup overflows with blessings and this is confirming what I was just speaking about how for many of you the Lord is filling your cup in this season and it's not only going to be full it'll be overflowing with blessings and it goes on to say, surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life. And I will live in the house of the Lord forever. He's also bringing Revelation 3, 8 through 9 to my spirit, which says, I want to pull up a better version. I know all the things you do, and I've opened a door for you that no one can close. You have little strength, yet you obeyed my word and did not deny me. Again, talking about that strength. And you guys, right before I started this message, I was looking at my subscriber count, and it was like um, 64,000. 555 and in the strongs concordance 555 means strength so this is supernatural strength that the lord is pouring into you in this hour and that's only the beginning though that's not your surprise <laughs> the surprise is going to blow your mind i'm hearing in my spirit 
And then in verse 9, it says, Look, I will force those who belong to Satan's synagogue, those liars who say they are Jews but are not, to come and bow down at your feet. They will acknowledge that you are the ones I love. And this is speaking about, again, preparing a feast for you in the presence of your enemies. The religious spirit. Many of you have had this religious spirit coming against you, either through um, friends, through family members, through church people. Uh, maybe you have a social media platform or a YouTube channel and that religious spirit had been coming against you. And the Lord is shutting it down in this hour. And many of you, even though you were coming up against that spirit, you continue to push forward. You wouldn't allow the enemy to get into your ear, to stop what the Lord had been calling you to do. And again, he's bringing Deuteronomy 28, 11 through 13, blessings for obedience. So for many of you, this is uh, supernatural finances, acceleration in your finances in this hour. Maybe your bank account has been running on fumes lately, but the Lord is saying your tank will be full. Your tank will be overflowing <laughs> with finances in this season. And of course, Course, there's purpose in this and you know even when your fumes were running on empty if the Lord called you to sow into somebody's ministry or to help somebody in need you were obedient you just trusted that the Lord would continue to provide for you as you're obedient in providing for others as he called you to do for some of you he also called you not to bless certain people who were maybe um, asking for money or operating out of manipulation and control. And by saying no, this was also a form of obedience, using discernment and wisdom, listening to the Holy Spirit, trusting that there are things going on in that situation that you were not privy to and the Lord was protecting you. He was protecting your finances. But it, when you are called to give, you give freely and willingly. You have the heart of Christ. You love helping people. You love blessing people. And so the Lord's increasing many of your finances in this season as well. But this supernatural surprise, this is going to be a specific event that happens in your life. And you're going to know right away <laughs> when this hits. So listen, many of you, the Lord's continuing to increase your territory. He's um, expanding your uh, reach in this hour, and this is only going to continue. And the other scripture reference he gave me for this word is Daniel 2.22. He reveals deep and mysterious things and knows what lies hidden in darkness, though he is surrounded by light. And of course, Daniel chapter 2 is talking about when King Nebuchadnezzar needed someone to interpret his dream and nobody was able to do it. The sorcerers, you know, all of the these people who had power from the wrong entities could not interpret the dream. But King Nebuchadnezzar went to Daniel. Daniel went to the Lord and the Lord revealed to Daniel the meaning of King Nebuchadnezzar's dream. And because of this, Daniel was giving, given a lot of favor. And so like Daniel, maybe many of you are gifted in dreams and visions and the Lord gives you revelation. You know, it's one thing to receive dreams and visions from the Lord. It's a whole nother level to be able to interpret what the Lord is speaking to you. And many of you are gifted in this interpretation in divine revelation and it's really because you are just so connected to the holy spirit because you spend daily t time in relationship with the lord you've accepted jesus christ as your personal savior you've repented of your sin you spend time in the secret place every day and because of this there's an open line of communication between you and the lord and so when the lord gives you revelation it's easy for you to interpret it you understand the Holy Spirit's language. You know, it says in John chapter 10, my sheep know my voice. They will not follow a stranger. And you know, the enemy will try to whisper things in your ear as well. And you know, you know your father's voice. So when the enemy does this, you're able to shut him down immediately in the name of Jesus. So I cancel the assignment of any um, unclean spirits working against you in the se season, you know, um, whispering lies in your ear that are against your purpose. I cancel that assignment. I bind those demons in the name of Jesus. 
And remember, it says in Luke 10, 19, that you have the authority to trample the enemy like serpents and scorpions under your feet. He's bringing Isaiah 54, 17 to mind. In that coming day, no weapon... Um, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. He will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. These are the benefits enjoyed by the servants of the Lord. Their vindication will come from me. Again, that vindication, you guys, this is all connected. This is an all-encompassing word. And I also believe for many of you, you're, you've just stepped into a new season. Because I'm releasing another word today. It's a new day, new season. And many of you you know, had been going through a couple of dark days. It always gets darkest before the dawn. That's usually an announcement from the enemy <laughs> that you're stepping into a new season filled with, filled with supernatural surprises, filled with blessings. And if this word is for you, that is definitely the case. So I don't know who this message is for today. Please take it to the Lord for confirmation. If you feel the Holy Spirit leading you to sow into this message, I encourage you to do so. I pray over every seed that the Lord would increase it a thousandfold. I pray for all of you who receive these messages, that the right people would receive them at the right time. I pray the Lord continue to go before you, follow behind you, leading you into his perfect will for your lives. If you guys are on the social media platforms, uh, go connect with me on Facebook, link, um, LinkedIn. I'm on LinkedIn, but I don't really, I don't even think my LinkedIn is updated. But if you want to connect with me on there, go ahead. But I'm active on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X. Maybe the Lord's calling me to update my LinkedIn. Usually that's how this goes because I didn't even... I wasn't even active on X and then I kept saying it in these words and I'm like, okay, Lord, I'll get on X. So he probably wants me to go update my LinkedIn. That's why that came out. So maybe some of you need to update your LinkedIn too. I don't know. But, um, <laughs> oh, the Lord makes me laugh. Um, big shout out to hashtag team Jesus, the membership group for this channel. If you guys are interested in our Wednesday night live Bible study and prophetic flow, that's for members only every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Just click the join button. It'll show you how to join. It's a $20 monthly seed. It gives you immediate access to our Wednesday night live streaming events. If you can't make it, it lives on a replay. There's already like 42 or 43 episodes in replay that you can go get caught up on. Sorry, guys. If you're interested in real estate in the Dominican Republic, I've got my website linked in the description, covenantrealtydr.com. Click on the tour tab if you want more info about the tour we have coming up in May, where you can come down to Punta Cana, meet me, learn about the buying process in that country. There's a lot of other benefits, like you can apply for dual residency, you can um, receive a lot of tax benefits uh, for buying in that country. There's a lot of incentives uh, for foreigners because they 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 love it when you know Americans, Canadians, Europeans, whoever come into the country and invest and pour money into their economy. So they have a lot of benefits for people who are interested in buying an investment property or maybe moving, maybe the Lord's calling you out of your native country. I'm hearing Goshen <laughs> in my spirit. And I do, you guys, I do feel like the Lord is doing something in the Dominican Republic. Cause many of you know, he called me there. I spend a lot of time down there in Punta Cana and listen, you could live off the grid there without a problem. You've got the ocean, you've got fertile land. The Lord's have, I've been watching like every season of Survivor and maybe the Lord's getting me ready for something. But I do believe, I was watching Kevin Zeta yesterday. It was one of his videos he released recently where he was like in his studio and he was talking about Goshen and about how this was the land where Jacob's family, Joseph's family went um, when they left Egypt and that they were protected in Goshen and they had everything they needed. It was a time of famine, but in Goshen, they had all of their needs taken care of. And so the Lord really highlighted that to me. So I do think the Lord's doing something in the Dominican Republic. I don't, look, I've just been obedient. I know he called me to start my covenant realty company down there. 
And um, I know many of you have been interested to find out more about what's going on down there in the DR. So listen, the Lord is doing something and I'm excited to see how it's going to pan out. So if you want to come down in May and just check it out, um, again, just go to my website. You can sign up for the tour there. My sales agent, Nikkel, will answer any questions you might have. And um, all of my new subscribers, welcome to the family. If you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. And um, just all of you financial partners, all of you guys who pray for me, I could not do this without you. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. And I love you all with the love of Christ and stay blessed.